Uh, when you've got your poppy, sometimes they're facing you and they are front on, and sometimes they're pointing over here. To me, they're like ballerinas with skirts. So the perspective on these little um, centers can change a bit. So yes, you do get the classic center that is, you know, just around, and then you have your sort of your bits with however many pieces there are, and that's pretty much straight on. But what happens if it's pointing that way? Then you then then you'll find that there's a little bit of a head thing, like more like that. And these little pieces actually come right round. They they like little fingers clawing on. And that means that they come out and over the edge of that thing there. You see that? So they actually come out over. And they usually get a bit fatter at the end. So that's the whole idea of doing these little individual paintings, which, you know, there's about 10 or 15 minutes in doing that. And it can be made into a gorgeous little finished painting. You have a series of them, so nothing's wasted. But by doing um, different poppy centres, you'll get to see what goes on. And here, for example, we've got one going up, and that one really just looks like a pudding, doesn't it, in the middle? So that's more of a profile, and that means that the stamens are actually in there hiding part of it. The ring of stamens is more out like this. Ooh. If we actually draw the area of the stamens, so, um, yeah, and some of those are coming towards us. Tonally, it's darker there. So it's just a great thing to do is just to do some little drawings and things of these as you go. And then you can start to notice the shapes and what's going on. So it's deeper and darker in here. And where it's receiving less light, it's also darker over this side. So I'm not really making a painting. I'm just doing making an observation. And I'm working with that. And you'll notice that down in this foreground, it's, it's fatter. We're seeing more stuff coming towards us. And here, we're just seeing a few pieces taking up a narrower band. It's more wide around there. And then as it comes towards us, we've got to change and then that comes up closer to there. Yes, of course, you can pick out shapes. So I guess what I'm trying to do here is show you that it's they're not all just front on like this. They do all point different ways. The bands, you know, the, the little fronds, these ends of the stamens, they're thicker and, and more bushy here. They're less there. And as they go around here, they're in more in shadow on this photo. They'll be more in shadow on the side and down here. They're capturing the light there. So that's also going to affect the kind of tone that you put on. Um, let's have another look at another one. This one's pointing that way, so that's very much like that one I, I started drawing under there. Here's another one that's not straight on, it's definitely going sideways, so it's got the, the band of stuff and the little guy in the middle. Okay, so look at them as being dimensional. Otherwise, your poppy centers will look like they have dementia. The classic I see is everybody just doing the, you know, like just say that's the painting there. They'll do poppy, 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 ding, everything's facing the front. Well, it's not. Usually, you know, it's part of the gestural nature that they're pointing in different directions. That's, that's the loveliness of it. It gives them movement, so we want that. Okay, so look out for that on your next poppy painting. That's it.